OK, this is going to be the world's fastest description of uh, HVAC. Heating is easy. How do you do it? You light a fire. You burn something. It gets hot. Very simple. Cooling is hard. How do you make cooling work? What do you think? Anybody know? I move heat around. That's how I make cooling work. So how do I, make, uh, how do I move heat around? Here's a basic thing that will show up in 80% of the uh, HVA systems uh, in the United States. Uh, so I'm going to rip through this very fast. I apologize. Uh, I have a loop of refrigerant. That loop of refrigerant, refrigerant just happens to be a material that we like because it's got really useful uh, uh, properties to it. There's this uh, concept known um, where if I pressurize something, any particular material, if I pressurize a particular material, I can know what the temperature will be of that material. Very useful idea. I take that uh, refrigerant material, I compress it way, way down. So I'm up here, I'm compressing it down, and I'm making it very, very uh, high pressure. That means this part is very hot. And then I get it to here, and I let it expand out. And so that means this part, because it's now a different uh, pressure, is very cool. It's the same material, just going through this loop. I pressurize it, and then I let it expand out. I pressurize it, I let it expand out. It just keeps going through that loop. And because I'm doing that, it changes temperatures on the two sides. Why is that useful? Well, if you think about it over here, if I have the cool side inside the room, and I have the hot side outside, the cool side inside the room is going to accept warmth from the room. And then I'm going to move it to the outside, but before it gets outside, I'm changing the pressure of it, and I'm increasing the temperature of it. It's now hotter than the air temperature outside. It's going to give off the heat to the outside. So this one little concept is how I'm going to accept heat from the inside, and I'm going to give it off to the outside. That's how your room air conditioner window model works. That's how every air conditioner works. So how does that work? I have a four loop system. Uh, I have the, uh, that refrigerant loop. I have the pressurization. I have the expander. Uh, when I get the hot stuff, I have a loop out here that's going to take all that heat and get it off probably up to the roof and get rid of it. I have maybe a cold water loop here. Uh, that's going to take the cooling that we just made, even though I said you can't make cooling, it's going to take the cooling we just made and bring it to wherever I need it, and then it's going to transfer that cooling to probably an air-based system that's then going to take it to where the people are. Do I always have all four loops? No. I could have one loop, I can have uh, three loops, I could have two loops, I can have four loops. But that concept is how e essentially every uh, air conditioning unit uh, in, uh, in the country is going to work. Right? So this really crazy complicated looking thing, right? there's my refrigerant loop. There's where I'm up on the roof I'm getting rid of the heat. This is my cold water going up and exchanging with the air. And this is where the air is uh, coming out and making me nice and cool in that building. That's the four loops right there. So you can see very complicated looking diagrams are actually quite simple. Blackspectacles.com is the home of online learning for architecture and design. You can go to Blackspectacles.com, kind of get a taste of this online ARE prep curriculum we built with AI Chicago and Mike, covering all seven sections of the exam. And there are free tutorials in every one of those courses. As a part of today's session, you're eligible for coupon codes for your ARE membership. 15% off the monthly membership and 30% off an annual membership all through the end of the month. And we're doing group memberships. So if you want to get one for your firm or you want your firm to buy one for you, you can go to blackspectacles.com slash business or just email me. We're running a promotion again where business memberships are 15% off as well. Our next webinar is going to be different. What we're going to do is we're going to sort of have a no holds barred Q&A session with Mike. It's not specific to an exam. Whatever exam you're working on, you have a question, you've tried to solve a vignette and you don't like your answer, you're unsure about your answer, put it in a PDF and email it to me. And what we'll do is we're just going to take them first come first serve and everyone who submits them will take an hour and Mike will answer them one after the other. So it'll be a cool event because if you actually have a question, you can get a real answer. And if you just want to see what other people are kind of wrestling with, it'd be a great way to learn from other people's questions and problems and so on. So that's going to be on April 22nd.